gosh. Oh, you know, because it was <laughs> huge. Such I mean, oh no. Yeah, yeah. So two soldiers and the nurse found ourselves in Amsterdam. Huge congrats on Amsterdam, guys. I love a murder mystery. I feel like in a past life, I could have been a detective. Mm. Who out of the cast would you choose to solve the case? We have spoken about this, we and have. I think we unanimously agree Christian Bale mm -hmm. would be the best detective. Mm. Because mm. His, his detective work would probably reflect his acting work, mm. which is incredibly detailed and thorough. Mm -hmm. That's interesting, because I just spoke to Christian, and he said he would be the worst. What?! I would be the worst because I have like one of the most abysmal memories of anybody I've ever met. Why does he think he'd be the worst? He was just saying he's got a terrible memory, he would be no good, but he said that you guys, he'd trust you guys, he'd hire you both. <laughs> That's very kind That's of him. That's good. Oh. This is why so many crimes go unsolved, I think. I d I, yeah, I'm a bit too trusting. I, oh, do, do you know what I mean? Absolutely. Like, oh, oh. So gullible. Yeah. I'd knock on someone's and they'd be like, I didn't do it. I'd be like, well... That's that then, they didn't do it. <laughs> <laughs> it seemed really lovely, they offered me a cup of tea afterwards. Really, really hard to yeah. investigate. <laughs> Maybe you're saying this because you're both secretly detectives Maybe. and we don't know about it. Do you know what though, I think I'd make a really good spy and mm. I've, I think a lot of actors would make really good spies. We travel all the time. Mm. You get very close to people of you know significant importance, I suppose. Mm -hmm. um, you act for mm -hmm. a living, mm -hmm. um, and you're so on the lookout like for details, memory, all that kind of stuff. I just, and hi hiding in plain sight, I just think we'd be yeah. good spies. Yeah, and you sort of have to hold in this internal world that mm. you don't really share with anyone, which is which a spy must have to do with that. I mean, actors over the years have done spy work though. Didn't, um, didn't um, oh gosh, what's her name? Love her so much. German actress from the Blue Angel. Oh. Um, Marlene Dietrich, thank you. Marlene Dietrich, stuff. Anyway, we don't need to get into this right now. But something she During was she was World gonna War. try and help take down Hitler in some sort of exciting way. Wow. Yeah. I'm sold. You're basically both spies. I'm just setting yeah. up the next film. Yeah. Well, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> we formed a pact, and we swore to protect each other, no matter what. I adore the relationship between Bert, Valerie, and Harold. Mm -hmm. Which actor in the industry really helped you guys when you were starting out acting and guided you? Oh, when I started out, mm. I've had so many people take me under their wing. Um, yeah, me too. Uh, you know, my first job in America was a show called Pan Am, and I lived with Christina Ricci, and she ta like ta taught me a lot about the industry too. Um, the actress who played my sister on that show, Kelly Garner, taught me a lot. Then Wolf of Wall Street, Leo and all his friends actually took me under their wing, taught me a lot. Same thing, Will Smith when I did Focus. I mean, just, yeah, I've had so many people along the way really look out for me and teach me lots about how just how to cope with the business, I suppose. What about mm. you? Yeah, me too, really everyone. It's hard to even whittle it down. I have, I have really vivid memories of um, Ken Branagh in, in the theatre, um, laughing hysterically, playing stupid games, and then having to go on and be very serious, and he had to shoot himself in the head. <laughs> um, <laughs> it's a really, really sad play. <laughs> but hilarious. Once he, behind, once, behind once he forgot the gun. gun. So what did he do? Just... We all passed it behind. Tom Hiddleston was in it. He was playing Lvov. We had to pass it behind our backs to get it to him. That's brilliant. So he could shoot himself in the head at the end. This but is the why reaction, I want to do theatre. That is so exciting. Obviously, our reaction was supposed to be as a, as a company. My, mm. The guy was about to marry. I was his child bride. But I was about to marry him. And, you know, he shoots himself. It's Ivanov. I'm not, no spoilers. <laughs> <laughs> um, and yeah, and so of course the reaction was supposed to be, you know, because it's a horribly shocking moment, but instead we were all like, oh, <gasps> oh, gosh. you know, because it was Phew! such a I mean, oh no! Yeah, yeah. God, thank God he's got the fucking gun. <laughs> that God, that's terrible, he's dead, oh, oh no. no. Thank goodness. Yeah. I love that. Um, some of Valerie's best moments were in Amsterdam. Mm. If you could take any of the previous characters you've played on holiday with you to Amsterdam, who would you choose to go with? Oh my God. That's a great... Not Margaret Thatcher. Great question. <laughs> Not Queen Elizabeth I. Um, I would take the character I played in Babylon... You guys don't know her yet, but you will by a the end of the year. Of, yeah, Nelly would be a lot of fun in Amsterdam. Wow. I don't know if you'd ever make it out of there, but it'd be fun. <laughs> I've seen the trailer and it yeah. looks brilliant. I'm so excited about mm. it. Oh, it's going to be good. It's how about you, Andrea? Um, I have no idea. Um, 
Mm, Beatrice no. would really let loose in Amsterdam, actually. I, I think she didn't be, get a chance to go. She was back in New York. I think she would probably be, by the end of it, she'd just be rocking and repeating herself. Or she'd be tr totally transformed. Maybe. Maybe she would, yeah, mm. have a transcendent experience. Yeah. Maybe Beatrice. I think she'd be a bit of a burden. <laughs> Bit of a drag. As much at as first. I love her. Bit of a drag. As much as I love her, she would yeah. take a lot of, you know, she's Yeah, a lot of coercion quite to get her. Yeah, yeah. It would be exhausting to travel with her. Yeah, actually, bit I don't want to go on holiday with Beatrice. <laughs> We're just ruling out people by the minute. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Not Margaret Thatcher, not Margaret Thatcher and, and not Beatrice, yeah, yeah. as much as we love her. But this could be the sequel, just you, your guys' characters in a coffee shop in Amsterdam. I'd watch it. I would love that because oh, yeah. I didn't get to do my scenes with Andrea oh. and I was so but I was so bummed by that. So we do need to do something. And we were for a second about to do Babylon together yep. and yep. then that I ended up doing something else and the dates didn't work out yep. and then um so yeah, so we just have to have thing. a point where we can speak to each other. Yep. Let's get Shazzy Babe in it too. Yeah. Oh god, yes. This is the sequel. I'd pay big money to see it. <laughs> Thanks. 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 <laughs> Margot, I know that you're the number one Love Island stan. Please tell me you held a Love Island screening for Robert De Niro. I didn't... I didn't suggest Robert De Niro watches Love Island. It, he actually might be one of the few hum, human beings I haven't tried to convince to watch it unless they're already converted, like the cleverest people are. Um, no, instead I, I, I waited for my moment to... I, I thought I'm going to get one chance to, like ask a personal question and I waited and I waited and I waited for when that moment would occur and it finally did one time on set and he, there wasn't anything going on and he didn't look distracted or busy and I asked him about what it was like to work on 1900 mm. so I wasn't I wasn't going to waste that opportunity and it was a really exciting chat actually I got to ask him about Bertolucci and oh, wow. Vittorio Storaro and just being in Italy for that long it was yeah. yeah. So, so on one end of the spectrum, there's Love Island, and the other end, there's yeah. Bertolucci's 1900, and they are um, uh, both exciting to me. But I, I thought better to. It's ask a broad spectrum. That. Yeah, it's a pretty broad spectrum. It reflects a very full character. I have eclectic <laughs> taste. <laughs> I'm just imagining Robert De Niro meeting Davide and Ekinsu now, and oh I can't God. get that thought out of my head. <laughs> oh, nothing would make me happier. Nothing. Nothing. Thank you so much, guys, and huge congrats on this. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Lovely see to you meet you. Later. See oh, you yes, later. Oh, yes, you there. It's Radio.